Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's use iWork numbers to create a table that adds up a column of numbers. So this is a pretty basic task to do with any spreadsheet. But Numbers does this particularly well as long as you understand how headers and footers in spreadsheet tables work. So in Numbers I've created a blank template new file here and you can see I'm sheet 1, table 1 and I want to add up a row of numbers. So I'll just create some random numbers here and I've got this and I can add them together by simply typing a formula equals sum with parentheses and then I can select these cells right parentheses and return. And you can see I've got the total here. It even updates if I change the number. So you can see it updates automatically. But there's a better way to do this. I'm going to get rid of the formula but I'm going to keep this column of numbers here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shrink this table here to fit. I'm going to go to the bottom and you can see I have a handle here at the bottom and I can shrink it all the way up so that it fits exactly what I've got there. And I don't need any more columns so I'm going to do the same thing by going to the right here and dragging this over. So technically the header here can be some sort of label and on the left here it could be uh, some other sort of label. But I don't necessarily need to have that. Now all I need to do is add another row there at the bottom that will give me the sum of all those amounts. I'm going to add what's called a footer row. To do that I have the table selected and then I select table footer rows and I'm going to set it to 1. This will add this row here at the bottom that like the header row is grayed out and uh, you can see it's different than the data in the middle. So now to get the total I do the same thing as I did before equals to initiate a formula then sum parentheses and instead of actually uh, doing a range of cells I'm going to just put B for the column. And it knows that by B I mean the amounts column and to ignore the header and ignore the footer itself. So now the interesting thing about doing it this way with a footer row is if I wanted to add more amounts here I can simply drag the table and add more space. And anything I put in here will be added to the total. Now it can be even easier than this. I can simply use the insert table function here and insert a sums table. I'll do that here in the same sheet so I have the two tables side by side. And you can see that in this table just gives me uh, 10 rows here, 4 columns and each one of these has a, a footer row formula here with the same formula I was using over there. The basic sum of the column. I can select the right side here and actually shrink this down or increase this either way and if I want to get rid of these columns here I can simply select delete column for each one. You can do more than just sums too. Uh, for instance if I want to do the average here I just replace the word sum with average and I get the average here at the bottom. Now notice if I shrink the number of columns here, the number of rows in the column, uh, it doesn't affect it. It knows that those columns there were empty at the bottom. So if I remove this number here you can see it adjusts the average so it doesn't take into account these empty ones. Of course I could put zeros there if my intention really is to have a zero in that row. You can have more footer columns as well. So I can go uh, table and create say 4 right here. I can leave this one as the average. Uh, I can do this one as the sum. I can do uh, this one as the maximum. So the largest number there. Uh, let's do this one as the minimum. So learning to use footer rows and condense your table to exactly the size you need to contain the numbers is key to getting the most out of using iWork numbers. Till next time, this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page, and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.